Wow. Okay. All right, Lawlers, welcome back to another gameplay commentary. It's going to be Illoi in the top lane. We just released a beginner champ guide on the channel for her. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and do so. It's going to give you everything you need to jump into your games and hopefully start winning pretty quickly and being a, a dominant Illoi top player um, in your games. So we're going to try and put all that stuff that we talked about to use in this gameplay here and walk you guys through a little bit more in depth uh, through a full game of laning and team fighting and getting ganked and all kinds of good stuff. So our Mordekaiser jungle wanted to invade here, um, we'll run into the Camille top lane who we're going to be laning against here. We pick up W to start just because we had that tentacle there and we wanted a little bit more damage from the W maybe to pick up a kill here and we do so with that flash. So get a nice first gold um, or first blood gold bounty there, $400. So we're going to recall pretty quickly here and spend that. Anytime you can get a little bit of an advantage in top lane, it's such an island lane that you want to make sure you, you spend that gold off a of good back timing and then come back into lane. We've got the Corrupting Potion start here just for a little bit of extra sustain. I think that this lane phase is going to be a lot of um, kind of mini trades back and forth. I'm probably going to spend a lot of mana. She's going to hit me a bunch. So I went with the Corrupting Potion start here. But we do have a long sword advantage on her right now. She has the Biscuits, which is going to give her a bit of sustain on me. But it's still great to have a long sword on her. So here we're just kind of stepping up, grabbing last hits on the minions when possible. I don't really want to trade with her until I get level 3 or at least level 2 with my, with my Q. Um, she's got level 2 first, so we're playing pretty passively. In most of your lane phases, I would recommend you play passively with Illuai until you get level 3, and you can try and land an E on someone and then kind of go ham. So here you can see the, the tentacle missed, even though we tried to do a little bit of a mini trade there, and she's going to knock it down with autos now. We're really just trying to get to level 3 and, and hang out. We've got a couple tentacles, so if we do land a W, um, hopefully we get a tentacle smash and we get a little bit of healing from our passive. Like so, we get her with a, a good chunk out there, maybe 5-10% of health. Now that we've got our E, we try and land that E instantly, and then we just W that spirit pull that we got there, and uh, the turret's actually smacking it pretty good too, so we got that in range of our turret, and that chunk's uh, Camille down to half of her health. So from here now we should really have good control of this lane phase. If we want to push this wave out, we can do so with our Q and W. <clears throat> but I'm really just, again, waiting for a good opportunity to land E's on her. So we land another E on her there, and then we just start beating down with auto Q. As soon as you land that E, you want to auto, sorry, auto W that spear, not auto Q. We save the Q maybe for a follow-up near the end of that trade. <clears throat> So we have a good amount of tentacles up now, which means that we should be able to have pretty good control of the wave and also fight within those tentacles um, very confidently, actually. And here we're just going to probably try and shove this wave out, I'm trying to see if I can grab her with an E again soon, maybe here. Once you clear out those minions, that's when you want to try and fire that E off, try and go for it there. We miss and we're going to try and get a reset off just to top up our corrupting potion here, fill up our mana and health bar. And, and come back since we push that wave into her turret. Again, you want to try and look for good back timings when you're playing top, irrespective of whatever champion you're playing. It's a vital part to playing the lane well and being ahead of your opponent throughout the game. If we just stay in lane nonstop and we never spend our gold, we're not actually getting stronger. So you want to make sure if you have a wave push, and it's really easy to do that with Illoi, you go back, spend that gold, even if it's just for, you know, eight hundred thousand dollars whatever it is spend it and come back so here we spent it we're now um ahead of earn items with the boots and a ruby crystal not so much attack damage but still stat wise we're ahead of her so we're gonna try and just keep her in this lane as long as possible here she does e into us again and we just w her try and land a q i thought she was gonna walk back into her minions but she didn't Again, just spawning those tentacles. Those tentacles are hitting her every time we use our W. You want to make sure you're using your W to clear out these minion waves near your tentacles and also on enemy champions if you can. Now that uh, she's taken down a few of those tentacles, I'm just kind of chilling till more tentacles spawn. Once a tentacle's up, then you'll see I get more aggressive. And that's how you should be playing your lanes as well. When you're not near a tentacle, be careful because you're not super tanky early and you're not like a huge damage dealer early like a Trindamir would be with auto attacks. So you can see every time I kind of move up to the wave, I kind of walk back towards my tentacle. Now that I've got one on that terrain, I can kind of play around this tentacle. 
You see a Moomoo come in for a gank, so I try and walk near my tentacles, use a W to get um, the tentacle hitting him. I use a Q, another W, and I actually do get a, a double kill there. So really early on, you can see already the display of the ability to 1v2 is Illoi top, and I didn't even have ult there. I think I died as I got ult. So if I did have ult, that would have been a lot cleaner. Couldn't use it just before I died there, so we had to um, just use our W and Q and the tentacles on the walls to deal all that damage. But it was still enough to 1v2, okay? So keep that in mind this game. Um, we're off to a great start. We've got double the CS of the Camille. Um, we've already got 150 gold bounty on our heads even after dying there, and we're three and one to start. So now we picked up a Phage. Really, really big buy for us there. That's a, that's a great back item for us to grab and the wave is pushing into us so we're gonna try and look to be i think here like a little bit passive until we set up some tentacles once the tentacles are up we're gonna look to try and grab an e and then if we can chunk her out we're gonna try and push the wave pretty hard into the turret and start to harass her under turret and maybe dive her so here again you can see she keeps using her e to jump into me and then i kind of use my e respectively after that to grab her every matchup is going to be different try and figure out when's the best time to land your e on the enemy champion you're facing and then do so so for camille she seems to be jumping in on me a lot this game so i'm holding my e for when she jumps in on me again you can see i'm kind of walking up ahead of the minions trying to tease her seeing if she's going to move in try and just land a w there if the e's not in range uh, again, always fighting around my tentacles, just so that she has to try and dodge that tentacle after I W her. Miss a Q there, and it's completely okay to miss Qs, but we land a W and another tentacle smash, and all of a sudden she's at 30% health. She dives into us again, I land another W. A lot of melee champs, again, if you're near your tentacles, you don't even have to hit E's, you can just hit W. So that's how we're winning this right now. I'm not too worried about a gank here again, because I have tentacles up. Another W, another E after she jump, jumps in on me, and then I just start beating down the Spirit again. Now she's in a really tough spot, right? Because she's diveable, she's got a full wave coming in. I've got Demolish proc, so I can hit this turret pretty hard here. So I just want to focus on the turret, but our uh, our jungler's coming in. That was a whiffy by me. I don't know what I was doing there. I'm just concentrating on clearing this out right now because I know that I can kill Camille whenever I want to. Our jungler does some kind of a weird play where he ints... I don't know why I had like wave stacking. She was going to die from minion aggro potentially anyway, but he decided to go a little bit crazy and flip the coin um, very aggressively. I chose a little bit more of a conservative, a higher percentage play of just clearing out the uh, the next wave with a bit of a proxy. And uh, Amumu ended up showing anyway. So we got a kill on her. We uh, shoved a, a couple waves under her tower and we're still pushing this. We have two tentacles set up around us, so I'm feeling pretty confident here. I ult now. Those tentacles just missed her. If those hit her, that would have been a huge amount of damage. I land the E on her again, but unfortunately it's not enough now. And you can see there, if you're playing outside of your tentacles, it is very difficult to get damage and heal from your passive and be that big beefy fighter that people are scared of. So if you're not around your tentacles, just be careful. We go a little bit too aggressive there against the Camille. I thought we were far enough ahead, um, but it, it didn't work out. So she was able to back and buy a Sheen proc there and actually still um, kill us with that Sheen. So again, back timings, very, very important. So we're using our TP to come back into lane here. We get a pickaxe. We are definitely ahead of her now in terms of stats and damage. Still about double her CS. And we land a nice Q as we come back. I'm just spamming Qs here again. We're going to try and hit that E. She's getting a little bit better at after she E's in on me trying to dodge my E. Um, but I don't think it matters. Like, we're so far ahead. You can see I've just landed a couple Qs and a couple Ws on her. I'm just chunking her so hard. And now that we're ahead of her, I don't even have to hit E's. I can just walk up. And, and hit W's on her, it doesn't matter. Um, we're in a really good position to carry this top lane very easily because we can W and just kill her now. So we can freeze, we can push lanes, whatever we wanna do here. Because I chunked her out and I know she's back and I'm trying to push this wave as fast as possible. So I can use my Q and my W once tentacles are up to do so. And then we're just gonna try and take turret plates and get more gold and get further ahead. So we're gonna creep our way closer and closer to this turret and then just beat down this turret. We get some really good plate gold here with our Demolish. You can also use your W on turrets as well to auto them. So we're gonna do that too. 
just keep hitting turrets with W's, keep using your Q on the wave, clear that wave out. She E's into us here, I'm just running back towards my tentacle to make sure I'm safe, land an E on her just outside of turret range, and then just start smacking on that spirit. So use my W here, she looked like she was going to commit, so I pressed R, and uh, pressing R at the right time with Illoi is very important to winning some of those big 1v1s and kind of getting to lane dominance early. If you miss your R, use it at the wrong time, people can just walk away or you won't even spawn a tentacle or damage them. So try and make sure you use it when the enemy champion is showing you they want to fight you, like to the death. That's that's the best time to use it. We basically killed her as soon as she came back into lane here, so we're just going to beat this tower down a little bit more. Just hitting on it with our W and our autos. And uh, we're going to back off here and hopefully get, I think, a good recall. We probably have a good amount of gold here. Maybe shove one more just because we have the tentacles up. We'll be able to shove one more wave here. It's very easy to shove waves quick. This is a cannon wave, so we can shove this in and then get it back off here. And there's no way she's going to be able to shove into our tower fast enough. So I just get out of range so she can't eat me and stop my back. And then I back and spend my gold now. Okay, awesome. So, what do we buy here? Not sure if the shop's updated or not. Doesn't look like my items are updated. It might be stuck with not being able to actually spend enough gold um, for my for my full hull breaker, which we're trying to rush right here. So we might have to do one more back to grab that. It'd been nice if we can get it off of all those plate golds, but I think we spent some money on boots early and that kind of stopped our uh, our ability to rush that item. So it is what it is. We're going to try and do the best that we can, even though we don't have Hullbreaker early here, but we're still very much ahead of this Camille, so we can still do a pretty good job this game of bullying her in lane, probably taking down this turret. Our bot lane are actually already took down first turret, so we're going to have to just settle for this one as a second turret. I'm moving ahead here because that turret's going to go down anyway. I want to see if I can catch the wave here before Camille can get the turret and pick up any of that XP or, or gold. So I try and pull her, her spear here and beat down her a bunch. And I'm still hanging out here. I have a tentacle spawn. So just seeing what's going to happen. I'm going to go back now through the top side and probably just dive her through the top side once I shove in this last couple of minions that she had stopping my minions from crashing. So I use my W with the tentacles there. You know, with another E, it's going to happen a lot, but just, again, try and fish for those E's. I W her there. I'm at full health. There's no problem if I take a turret shot or two there. So now we can just go for the turret dive. I tried to do something flashy there and, and flash W and just kill her. A um, little bit of a swag play. Ended up missing it and just, I think I W'd the turret instead. So a little bit of a, of a misplay on the W there with the auto attack enhancer. But we can still try and find her right now. Um, she did just walk through across to the topside river, but... Um, I opt to push lane here instead because I want her to miss another wave of CS if she's choosing to dance around at that amount of health because we left her pretty low like an execute range. So I just shove this turret. I have another demolish proc and shove that even harder. She walks into me again so I E her and then I just start beating down on her spirit again. So auto W and then Q that spirit if you have enough mana stacked up eventually. And then I have my tentacle spawning here again. And I do have ult ready, so I feel pretty confident just shoving more waves and trying to poke her with W's or E's. So I land another E on her just outside of turret range, which is really nice. Into tentacles, so that really chunks her out there. She's going to be spawning a bunch of tentacles around her. Potentially could die just from getting smacked from the tentacles. And then I, I beat down the turret a little bit more here. I still have three tentacles up around me, so I do not have to back right now. I can stay very close to this turret. Even if people show up, I have ult, I have three tentacles. I feel very confident in my ability to, uh, to win a fight. There, I take a really weird two turret shots. So I decide to back off here because I don't want Camille to just uh, one-tap me with her key resets. So... Yeah, unfortunate turret damage there. This uh, this Gromp tempts me, and I think it can give me a little bit of health uh, regen and mana regen um, when I kill it. So I stay and I use my W's and my Q's to kill this Gromp pretty quick here. Um, and then I just want to keep putting pressure on this turret. 
I backed off now because I actually didn't know where their team was. I saw two mid, but I didn't know where anyone else was at this point. And just being at half health with too many tentacles spawn because Camille killed them before she backed, I decided to back myself and just uh, grab my item. This scoreboard doesn't seem to be updating for whatever reason and showing my hull breaker. I'm pretty sure I have it here. Let me, uh, let me turn this off and back on again. Let's see if that fixes it. Yeah, so we have yeah, so we have our hull breaker and we have our divine sunder now. So, um, 16 minutes in, we're at our full core build. We are very very strong right now. We even have our pair of plated steel caps, so we're extremely strong. A Mubu decides to try and flash E into us. I just grab his spirit and pop alt because there's so many enemies around me right now, and we end up uh, really bursting out one of them pretty fast. Morgana caught me in a bind there and actually chunked me out very very well so i had to play a little bit more passively after that but we take out that camille again with a bunch of uh, tentacles they are all over this lane phase i'm just smacking people left right and center with them and uh just picking up more kills we're currently sitting at six and two with a 400 gold bounty on our heads um, killed a bunch of people on their team there, so we're just pushing that wave in, and then we're going to back off and see if we can steal a blue buff here for ourselves. Blue buff on us is nice, it just means that we can spam our abilities a little bit more. We're kind of a caster fighter that really depends on our abilities to deal damage, so we do like blue buffs. Here, I don't know how we missed that E. Um, I thought it went right through a Moomoo. We do manage to take the Blast Cone and get out, but I'm feeling very confident right now for some reason with two tentacles around. So I do try and again pull another soul out of this um, Camille. I do chunk her out pretty good, but unfortunately I get hit by another bind from the Morgana, and that means that I die. I don't really have any magic resist in my kit right now, so if she hits a bind and a W on me, it actually does pretty good damage on me. So dead now, but these guys are still fighting. Um, I did do I think still a good amount of damage on that Camille so she's able to get uh, cleaned up by the Mordekaiser here and then he lands a couple of good E's and Q's on the enemy champs and picks himself up a triple kill as well but at this point in the game here like we're sitting at 157 CS um, the highest in the game we're again almost triple now our enemy laner and just in a really good position to be a massive bully and carry this lane from a side lane or sorry this game from a side lane so here instead of opting to join up with my team in aram i want to try and split push lanes just because i have um, hullbreaker very very strong like that so we want to try and split push pick up another blue buff since we lost the last one <laughs> And we'll keep walking down here again just trying to push the lane keep our cs and xp high we're level 13 in this game i think it's one of the highest levels in the game right now on our team um i believe so i believe we're the highest level in the game right now so that comes just from picking up so many kills and being in side lanes and keeping our xp and cs numbers high so very very important on champion like illoi where you're going to be you know 1v2 and 1v3 in a lot so here the Camille jumps in on us again. I just land another E on her. Unfortunately, I didn't really have tentacles too close by for that E, but I still decided to hit it and just give her an auto W. And then we chunk out that turret, land another E on her. This time we do have some tentacles close by, so we're able to chunk her out a lot harder. And she's forced to back off from that turret, which means we can take it. People are coming in here. I'm just looking for a good spot to land my R. I managed to land it on a Mumu early enough here and just get one tentacle. But because I had so many close by already, it was already such a big play. And then I killed that uh, that Kiana because I had more tentacles spawned behind her. And when I pulled her spear, they just started attacking her too. So, yeah, really good, um, really good play there to kill both of them and take the turret. That's basically a 1v3 play because they were all coming to me bot and I still took turret and, uh, and killed two of them and forced Camille off. So here again, I have five tentacles, four tentacles around me, so I'm not in a rush to go anywhere. Uh, miss an E there, just a little bit outside of range. But you can see as they kill tentacles, I just move back to my next set of tentacles. Again, you want to play within your tentacles as Illoi to make sure that you're strong. So here I'm in a group of tentacles again. 
I'm healing up pretty good every time I hit somebody with a W and my tentacles smash them, so I survive that. My team ends up coming in and cleaning up some of those kills. Right now, I'm just you know trying to pick up a little bit of gold and a little bit more CS and experience before I dip out of here. I don't have my ult, and there's really no fight left for me there. Um, they killed all my tentacles, and I'm too low to survive a burst or a stun from a Mumu or Camille or Morgana or anybody on their team that can stun me. So we're going to back here and uh, spend some gold. So we're building towards... Um... We're building towards more armor here, just trying to get a little bit beefier and tankier so that even if a 1v2 comes, um, we can survive long enough for our tentacles to keep doing damage. You can play a little bit more of an aggressive route and build more attack damage items. You can become a little bit beefier and chunkier and be a more bruiser build. Um, I might try gameplay where I build uh, like an assassin LOI and just build a bunch of, of lethality items. Actually, that could be fun here. Pick up the red buff, and uh, the team forfeited. So pretty good gameplay. I think uh, did some great damage in that game. Ended 9-3-3. Three, and three. So very impactful Illoi game. You guys should give her a try. Try and follow some of the steps that we talked about in this video. And best of luck in your games.